Republics of Africa stepped in the action. We need to promote, we need to make noise and loud the top. Somebody will ask me, why are you shouting? Yes, of course, I have to shout. Now, let's watch this video from the Nigeria Electric Vehicle Company. We started with an idea, a vision to create something extraordinary. Something built here in Nigeria for the world. This is Nev Electric. DJ Pakorin. Hello, beautiful people. The name goes like DJ Paco Rich, but right in Nigeria, they call me Otumba <laughs> for a very powerful reason. <laughs> Mazi for a traditional and for respect reason. Siriki, 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 siriki for a nothing reason. And as a mo for a spiritual reason. Because this man you see here is fortified by the ghosts and I speak for the ghosts. Anyway, people, today we are going to talk about Nigeria producing electric cars and buses and motors and okadas and all that they have taken the lead and they are doing so well so um a friend of mine came across this video and he shared the video with me and i felt this is quite a good news to spread to the world to let people know that africa is capable of doing something and when the giants of africa stepped in the action we need to promote, we need to make noise and loud the top. Somebody will ask me, why are you shouting? Yes, of course, I have to shout. Because if it was some excuse me to say bullshit news about negative about Africa, people will be running helter skelter to let the world know that nothing good comes from this side of the world. But this is something good that we would have to also acknowledge and be proud of it. And so a friend of mine shared this video, and I'm going to share the video with you in a short time about Nigeria producing electrical vehicles. And you can see that as the world is going in certain direction or the move forward, we are migrating from the fuel and the diesels and the other consumption because electric has given us other ways, millions, uh, let's say a lot of ways to generate electricity as at solar and the um the one that they use the dam hydro and i mean just name them there are some that they even have to use waste to generate electricity and so the options are many but then in terms of crude oil you know it takes a lot a lot a lot a lot and then because of crude oil some nations are rising on some nations and it has become so old, so blah 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 crude oil nigeria gets but then to add up to wait you know i would want to say that it's a good move for us to also accept other innovations when it comes to uh, technology and finding a giant of africa nigerian taking a bold step into this initiative it's quite it's something we should commend them for you know it might not necessarily be all the companies because according to my research we have almost about five nigerian based electric vehicles companies yes and i'm going to share the name with you but in another episode we'll go into details and then we'll share some of um, the activities that they do but before we do that let's watch this video from the nigeria electric vehicle company we started with an idea a vision to create something extraordinary something built here in nigeria for the world this is nev electric nigeria Nigeria's first electric vehicle manufacturing company, born to take Africa into a new era of sustainable mobility. Powered by cutting-edge technology and inspired by the spirit of Africa. And today, we are ready to show the world what we have created. This is not just a machine, it's a statement, a new chapter in mobility. 
Nev Electric is driving Africa forward. And like you heard in a voiceover, this is a statement. And then to wrap it up, that was no selfish statement that he made because he ended by moving African forward. And it wasn't just about Nigeria. And we know the import duties that comes when we, you know, import cars from overseas and all that. And so, truly, truly, if we are wise enough to implement this, our inter-African trade policies very well, then it wouldn't be necessary for us to be even paying duties when you, we are buying our local manufactured vehicles. For example, if Nigerian is producing cars, and these cars, you are Ghanaian and you want to drive some of them and you want to buy for Nigeria. Being in under one umbrella like ECOWAS and all those things, if truly, truly, we don't want to call those institutions Bogosa, we should be able to allow trade go smoothly without paying extreme taxes and, you know, duties and blah, 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 blah. It should actually go smooth. And so this is what people like me, we are pushing for. That this will come, it will enhance us. And like you saw in the manufacturing sites, I did not chance my eyes on any white person there, but young people, we always see our people going to school to study engineer and all these things. And at the end of the day, ask yourself, where do they practice? It gets to a stage that we all have to travel abroad to work in these uh, foreign companies and all that. And we use our brains and our technology skills and uh, other stuff. We give it to the whites. They will use it to manufacture something. And they bring it back to us and sell it at extreme prices to us. Meanwhile, the brains behind some of these things are coming from black African people who are blessed with a lot of knowledge and so if nigerians have able to open this door it is just right for other african nations to also follow like the saying goes follow who no road am i making some sense here no 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 look at me in the face am i making some sense here will it make sense let me know it is beautiful not be say because Ghana haven't done that or Ghana hasn't taken the lead in that. Nigeria has done it, so I won't talk about it. It is beautiful. Nigeria Electric Vehicle, NEF. I just love the name. They have owned it. And it's an African brand. Imagine on your wedding day, you pull up with a car with NEF. With all beautiful features. These are companies within that if you need special customization, they can easily do it. And let's stop glorifying the drama of uh, Africa go by Rolls Royce and this, this, and then we'll make so much noise about it. Let us be proud. Ghana also have this company called Kantanka. And I'm sure very soon Kantanka would also go full force into producing electric vehicles, which will help us. He's been there. He's been doing extremely good for Ghana. But I think it's about time that we we'll open the doors for mass production for these African companies. And governments should help them stand on their feet. Because it is this import, 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 import that is not allowing our currency to be strong. Every day the dollar is beating us. Every day the dollar is beating us. Because we are always important. And so when we start the charity from home by creating and producing from home, we will definitely be great nations. And Africa will be extremely better. Let me end here. Let me also get your submission in the comment section. But my name is DJ Parkourage, a.k.a. Mazi, a.k.a. Utuma, a.k.a. Zemo. I'm out of here. I'll come back with another episode. But before then, let me know where you're watching from and what you have to share about this particular topic. I'm out of here. Bye-bye. DJ Paco Rich. <laughs>